Tom, thanks so much for being here. Why don't we just start with the stats of where podcasting has been and who's listening? Sure. Uh, so podcasting, uh, now more than half of Americans 12 plus say they've ever listened to a podcast. That's about 55%. We crested that a couple of years ago. So uh, in every way, shape, and form, it's fair to say that it's a mainstream medium. In terms of regular consumption, those who listen at least monthly now exceed 37%, and about a quarter listen every week. So we're talking about something that is as big, if not bigger, than almost every social media platform, for instance, except for Facebook, which is the big outlier. Uh, so it's absolutely a mainstream medium. It's been growing linearly and steadily every year, but more so really in the last five years than in the previous 10. So we're talking to large organizations and big corporations. Um, what what are some of the numbers showing as far as the B2B, the B2C, the internal podcast? Who's listening? Well, it's really become normalized to the U.S. population at this point. I mean, we've always seen podcasting be more appealing to highly educated, more affluent Americans. As more and more mainstream consumers come into podcasting, that is starting to normalize a bit. Uh, but there's no question that if you're trying to reach employed affluent, uh, educated Americans that podcasting is one of the best ways to do it. And people really appreciate the fact that it's a fairly Spartan environment in terms of advertising and messaging. I mean, brand branded podcasts work really well, but uh, as people come to podcasting, sort of escaping uh, the sort of classic interrupt style advertising from television and radio, uh, podcasting becomes one of the really the only ways to reach those people as they have really started to check out of other forms of mainstream media. Mm. Can you speak to the uh, corporations that are trying to bring younger listeners in the millennials? What's what's that looking like in the future for the next five or 10 years? Yeah, you know, it's less about the corporations bringing them in and more about the platforms upon which these millennials uh, and Gen Y and Gen Z and and all the other letters of the gens uh, are beginning to discover podcasts. And, and what we've seen in the past couple of years, podcasting has really been sort of a 29 to 49 uh, format for many, many years. But now you see platforms like Spotify uh, really promoting and showcasing podcasts. And we've actually seen more growth 12 to 29 in the past couple of years than in any other demographic. So it's really about the platform that you want to reach people on. Uh, and if you are a corporation that's looking to do podcasting, I think you have to think content, but you also have to think distribution. Hmm. So how fast are the numbers growing in the last, you know, basically podcasts are what, 15 years old. How exponentially are they growing? Well, I wouldn't say they're growing exponentially. Okay. Uh, they've grown linearly and steadily. They've never grown to the extent that, say, video has. And really from 2005, when we first started tracking it at Edison Research, Till about 2015, it would grow up, you know, it would sort of go one to two percentage points per year. Uh, but in the last three or four years, it's really shot up and it's grown more now, uh, really, than in, in the previous 10. And some of that has to do really with kind of a renaissance in spoken word audio programming in general. And if you think about spoken word audio uh, 10 years ago, you know, there might have been news radio, talk radio, a little bit of sports. There wasn't really a lot of narrative content on the radio other than some public radio, right? But now there's just been this incredible proliferation of wonderful storytelling and narrative form content. And all of that muscle memory is starting to come back to the producers of that content. And it turns out that the issue was less, was less about demand and more about supply. And as we're seeing much more supply of entertaining uh, narrative story podcasts being produced, that people are, are really, really flocking to them. So it's been investment and content, and now we've seen really significant growth over the past two or three years. Podcasts, the ads that people want to listen to in a way. Tom, can you speak to the fact that there are cars that are being manufactured right now that don't have radios in them? They're, they're computers. Yeah, and you know th that's not necessarily a repudiation of AM, FM radio per se, because certainly you can get radio uh, through a variety of interfaces on uh, through digital means, right. right? You know, tune in and, and things like that. Um, and, you know, the, I think cars are going to continue to go that way uh, to have that sort of digital interface that either taps into your phone or has some kind of native Wi-Fi. And again, that doesn't mean that radio is going to die. It just means that we're going to have a lot more choices available to us and we're going to be able to listen to exactly what we want. And that's going to really accelerate when we see more and more uh, voice assistant technology in cars. You know, you think about 
uh, Amazon Alexa and Google Nest Hub and things like that, when that voice assistant technology gets baked into the vehicle, then it's going to be friction free to be able to get exactly the content you want without getting in a car accident, which, you know, right now, if you have to look down at your phone, that's a possibility. So those two things are sort of accelerating at the same time. And there's no question that the landscape is going to look uh, very different five years from now, even than it does now. Uh, just as we start to wrap up, what are some of the questions that, uh, say, a president or a CEO of a corporation might want to ask themselves uh, whether they should start a podcast or not based on numbers and where it's going? Yeah, 100 uh, percent. It's to have a very clear goal in mind. And the one thing about podcasting, you know, there's a lot of noise in media right now. I mean, if you think about even the, the queue of TV shows and things you want to watch on Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, Apple TV Plus, Disney Plus, all of that, it's it's overwhelming, right? Uh, and so thinking about podcasting as a reach medium, as a way to sort of build an audience that doesn't exist, that's a long, tough, slow climb. But if you think about podcasting as a way to build relationships, to build engagement, with the people that you already have. Uh, there are really no better prospects for your company than the ones that you've already made into customers. Then I, I think that's a healthy way to look at podcasting. So it's not about how many numbers you have. It's not about the greater number. It's about quality people that are listening. You'd rather have 10 quality than 10,000 that are just dead weight. Right? Yeah, exactly. And I, I think, uh, you know, dead weight is maybe a little strong, but, uh, <laughs> But I think you want a body of people that will take action. You want a body of people that feel some kind of attachment or commitment. And, you know, I look at it this way, you know, having been both a blogger and a podcaster, if you have 100,000 people read your blog, maybe you'll get 5,000 of them listen to your podcast, right? And you might think, why aren't I converting more? But those 5,000 people are willing to give you a half an hour of their time, mm -hmm. right? A, bl a blog post reader scans it for 20 seconds and they're on to the next thing. And so those people that are willing to give you that block of time, they're gold. Mm. Tom, thank you so much. We're going to put all your information right down there. And uh, we appreciate you being here as our expert today on the numbers and stats. Have a great My day. Pleasure.